Dynatrace helps you with your platform engineering use cases by providing you with 30 plus out of the box health alerts for all of your K8s clusters. And no matter how many clusters do you have, all of this is located in a centralized repository in one hub, which can be used for ingesting, for visualizing and for analyzing telemetry data from different layers of your Kubernetes stacks. So for different distributions and for different layers of your Kubernetes stacks, all of the alerts are consolidated into one single source of truth, which can help you uh, in taking actions based out of actual observability insights and also take decisions about your resource consumption, performance management, and any configuration actions that you would need to take for all of these clusters. It's all going to be located in one spot. Also, um, we can you can have a centralized monitoring and alerting capabilities for all of your node failure events. So let's take a look at what Dynatrace offers you. What are the different kinds of health alerts that are available for your k clusters? Once you install the Dynatrace operator on your k 8 cluster, you can actually see something called recommendations. When you come into these recommendations, you can see all the health alerts that Dynatrace can provide to you out of the box, which you can configure for all of your k 8 clusters. So you can first configure things on cluster level. There, here, if you have any production cluster or pre-prod cluster where you want notifications for your production clusters but not for your pre-prod, you can actually enable it uh, for some of the clusters and not for all of them. So you can go in and activate health endpoints to see if the cluster is actually up and running, whether it is healthy. And then you can also do things like CPU request, pod saturations, monitoring issues. So you can see all of these things and enable them for cluster level. As you move down, you can see that from the cluster, you are coming into the node level alerts. So within the nodes, again, you have the same things, which is going to be if one node is saturated from CPU, if there is a memory saturation happening on any one of the nodes, so you, or whether there is a readiness problem. So you can actually enable all of these alerts for your clusters, your nodes, and then of course, within Kubernetes tech stack, namespaces are very important. You want to know if there is code problems on your namespaces, if there is a memory request problem, if there is a part saturation quota that is happening, all of those alerts, you can turn them on, on different namespace levels, or you can enable them for some namespaces, not all of them, but you can pick and choose. And then once you are done with your cluster node namespaces, you can come down to your workload level alerts as well. So here you can see if there are any parts that are stuck in pending, if they are stuck in terminating state, they're not ready. They're using too much CPU. If they are jobs with failure events, out of memory events that are happening within your pods, all of those alerts can be actually turned on by just one click of a button and you don't have to make any changes to YAML files or within your Kate's environment, but you will be able to set all of these alerts by just clicking on this activate button. And here you can see um, anomaly detection settings. You can turn on all of these different alerts and it will provide you with a way to actually configure them which says that alert me if there is at least one restart for how many minutes within the last five minutes or 10 minutes. So depending on what SLAs you are trying to order or stick to within your environments, you can actually create all of those alerts by clicking on these buttons once you have the Dynatrace operator installed within your Kate's environment. If you did find the video useful, you can now go to dynatrace.com slash Kubernetes and there you will get details about how you can actually start monitoring your k 8 environments with Dynatrace and you can see that it doesn't take a long time to get all of this set up. You can get it done in less than 10 minutes where you can get full observability into your k 8 clusters within Dynatrace and happy monitoring.